This is Time with Tim. Welcome, subscribers, to the Writer's Mindscape. I'm Tim Green. I write in the pen name TRG, and today we're going to take a detour. We're not going to be talking about why I write today. This feels like a good, great point. We'll get back to that in the next Time with Tim episode. But today, we're going to go somewhere else. We're going to play catch up. What's going on with Tim? What's going on with Tim? Glad you asked, because as of this past Friday, the 7th? No. Yeah, as of Friday, the 7th of February, I am an official graduate of Full Sail University. That's right, I have my master's in film production. Yay, because now I actually have to do something. I am excited. It's been over a year. For those who don't know, Full Sail is an accelerated program for all their courses for bachelor's and master's. My MFA was a one-year program. Most MFAs are two to three-year programs in film. Mine took me 14 months because I had to take two months off at different times during the year. One, because I chose, then I had to take time off in September due to health injuries. I was stressed out unbelievably, not sleeping for th more than three hours. I had a blast, I am glad I'm done. I love school, I really do, but at the same time, it's been nuts. I got some stuff I could get done and I'll come back with a next little talk. I haven't got to do much. finished doing some work you saw me there actually what you saw me do was writing a screenplay I got about four and a half four and a th uh, third I don't know it's hard to tell the actual length um, for that screenplay which is actually really good it's been a very long time since I've actually written a screenplay I also did a to-do list of what I gotta get done today so let's continue on what's going on. So now that I'm a graduate, I have to find a job. <sighs> Not just a job, I need to find a good job. But I also need to find some kind of work overall because funds are non-existent in a sense. So I need to start finding a work where I can be paying my bills, finding an actual full-time in my field. Hopefully the goal would be to find something full-time right off the bat, but that could take a little while. I'm looking here in Orlando mostly because it's just easier so I don't have to move. I'm not locked to this area. I do not like Florida. I hate humidity. I hate Humidity. I have my resume done. One of the best looking resumes I've ever done. I, I suck at that stuff. It looks great. I've gotten approval from my career development who really liked it. I edit my demo reel, which is great, but I should be able to start looking for jobs and really hammering it out there, which is a good thing because I'm excited to get out there because I love editing. And that's what I really need to be doing um, for the most part for the next, until I find, well, until I find a job is job searching. I gotta take a shower. Um, as you can tell, I'm still been done that get some stuff stuff done eat make some food and then I'll be back all right all right just gonna make my smoothie where did we leave off? That's right. So, hold on, I'm missing something. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next portion of this video. What am I doing now? Outside that I just graduated, I'm looking for a job. I'm trying to accomplish a few things. Oh, that, feels, that tastes so good. And one of the things is, like, if you don't know, some of the content for this channel I want to do at some point is book reviews. No, 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 no. Not author two. I'm not doing author two. I'm talking about writing books. I've read so many books in my life on writing. I figured why not? Read one, give a review, see if you, I recommend it. That's one of the things I'm doing. This is actually the one I've actually read before. I'm gonna read again. I've had it out on my desk. It's just been staring at me. I know I should be reading it, but I'm not. So I think I'm just gonna try to do this pages at a time get back into the habit but I do need to get back into reading because I miss it all right let's continue this elsewhere
All right, so my plans changed. I was gonna go work out. I spent a lot of time um, job hunting, setting up profiles, and it took a little bit longer than I thought I was gonna do, so I honestly just don't feel like going out. I really didn't move this weekend. I just sat in my desk chair for hours. Big mistake. I really gotta stop doing that. So I figured I'd come out here in my living room, stretch, really kind of get loosened up, and tomorrow I'll plan to go back to the gym. The reason why I have to get back to the gym is I'm close to my weight loss goal. I'm targeting for 200 pounds, and I'm at about 205, 206, last time I weighed myself at the gym. This is down from 217-ish back in September, but I still have another five, six to go for my first goal, so I definitely have to get back to it. Let's carry on to what I was talking about. What else am I working on? So I have two things I'm really working on, writing related. The first one is, ethereal and that has been something I've been hesitant to talk about on this channel I know I was gonna talk about it later in my episodes on in my my career in writing I am working on it now actively what our ethereal is is I've been trying to link all my projects to one massive Avenger level team up and I've been trying to do this for years I've been going from different ideas different takes here and there and what always happens is I get bored. This happens with a lot of my projects as well. And wow, that light back there is a pain, pain in the ass. And the reason it was built from the bottom up. I did have some ideas how it was gonna end. I knew like the endings and stuff, but nothing I could picture. And I think that kept changing and other things I wanted to do didn't match in with this. And I was trying to plug holes. And it, was a it was a nightmare. So what I decided to do is I'm going to start over. That's what I've been doing the last um, few months where I said, okay, nope. We're doing this differently. I say, always say I need to know where I'm going before I can start. I always have my beginning, but I also need to know my end. And I really need to see my end. So I sat down and I figured out my goddamn ending. It had the climax. I knew exactly what it was going to look like. And I could picture it in my head. So that's awesome. So that's one of the things I've been really working on, building the stories there. I'm still on the grand picture type elements. Well, not really. I'm more on the next level down. I'll go more into details on this stuff in later on. That's where I am on that, so I'm working on those. And the second thing I'm working on is a script. This script is the first real script I've written since June. Yeah, I think it was June. Had an idea, woke up, I've been playing around with some stuff in my head. And you know what, let me write this stuff down. Let me sit down and try to figure out what I can do with it. It was gonna be a short film, so what I really wanna do with it, I can't do in a short film, a 30 minute short. So what I've been doing is I've been just kind of hammering out ideas. I'm not a big fan of the linear story when it comes to stuff. For the most part, I specifically films, I really like non-linear storytelling. And that's one thing they tell us at Full Sail, don't do stories of linear. And it's not because you shouldn't do that. It's because just telling a cohesive story from point A to point B well, it's hard enough as it is to now break it apart to be non-linear is even harder. So I was planning this film to be, and I actually sat down with a professor last week, and he did, he gave me advice. He helped me, when I was talking to him, a 30 minute short, I can tell you that much, but I'm just gonna, I'm going with it. So I to him, still waiting for feedback from him, but I started writing that script the last few days. Actually today, I actually got four pages done, which is a lot. It's so weird, by the way, for screenplays, and you don't talk word count, you talk pages. How many pages do you get to print today? Oh, one, what, seven? Wow! But it's weird, so I mean, word counts for novels and pages for scripts, it's, it's weird. But that's really the other thing I've been working on, and it's going good. Let's see what else I gotta do. I get back to stretching, use my little wheel, and I'll be back to close out with one more thing. All right, we're gonna wrap this video up, but before we do, I have a question that's been racking my brain for a little while now, and it's actually tied to my script that I'm writing. It's meant to be a way to link to what we want to do with the project, a TV because I think there's a really cool concept there, and I think you can mine a lot of stuff out of. The question I'm actually contemplating and ravaging my brain for is, should I and write this book series? The reason I'm questioning this is, it's not fantasy or sci-fi. There are probably some little sci-fi elements in there. It's not what I'm used to doing. I 
love the concept, but at the same time, it's so far away from my norm, do I really want to write it? So that's something I'm kind of contemplating. I want to know what you thought. I want to know what you think. Comment down below. That is the question of the day. Should I write my screenplay as a novel series? Answer that down below. I just want to highlight my very first ever Ask for Writers review of Scrivener 3. That's right, it's live. I'm so proud of that video. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I did it and I think it turned out great. Go check it out. There'll be a link above my head and down in the description. While you're heading down there as well, be sure also to check out the latest episode of In My Experience where I question, should you write every day or shouldn't you? I make a case of why you should and maybe why you shouldn't write every day. Again, link above my head and down below to check those out. That's everything guys, done. Comment down, answer that question whether I should write my screenplay as a book series. Since you made it to the end of this video, give this video a thumbs up, you know you want to, and it really helps out this channel. Let's see if we can get five likes. Since it's right there, and you're gonna give it a thumbs up, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Good, you did it. Ring the bell and turn on all notifications so you know when Time With Tim's and other content go live. I hope you guys are having a great week. I will chat with you in my next video. Bye.